As the officer asks the woman for her license, however, she does something that completely changes the trajectory of the stop. Oh, sir! Oh, she fucking... Like, you know what she, like... She's taking off, she's heading towards... Hell no, I'm not gonna lie. Speed chase is... I'm on Cathedral, I just lost her. Very dangerous. Lost her? 1023, she's single forward. She's running. What the fuck is going on? Here. Good job, ladies, gentlemen, kings, queens. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling today? We got most insane traffic stops of all time. This is brought to us by Catching Killers. You know what I'm saying? Let's get smooth through it, shall we? Oh man. No. Uh -oh. In this video, you will see Minnesota police pull over a driver for driving without a tire. There is Type no shit. tire there. All right. Blood all over the car. But as the investigation uh -oh. unfolds, they find a crime much more sinister. Holy. We got a body. Then you'll see a 22 year old woman turn a seemingly normal traffic stop into six felony charges. What are you. Get on the ground, you're gonna get tased! The last one we seen in another video. Look, your car is on fire. I don't understand that. But first body camera one. footage captures the moment cops caught a kidnapper red handed. We well, seen this shit. How's your friend? 18. That goes on 18. On July 4th, 2022, a sergeant from the New Mexico Highway Patrol pulled over 41 year old Jeremy Guthrie after he was seen speeding across multiple lanes of the highway before taking a dangerous turn. And when the sergeant approached the driver's window, he was met with a truly disturbing scene. Weird ass clown. Hey. Chilling oh, with a bunch of damn children. All right. Just all These right. are my friends. Yeah. Shut up, uh, jackass. But yeah. around with that nigga, man. A little bit nervous. But so around with that, that nigga. The way you're driving. I was doing so I was behind you driving down I-40. You were in lane number I'm one. Sad. At times, you went all the way from lane number one all the way over. Then you were signal. Oh man. Had problems keeping the lane. Your 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 vehicle one lane, and then. When you merge on from uh, westbound 40 to northbound 25, you took that curve way too fast. Yeah, talk about it, buddy. I did. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I thought you were going to crash. Yeah, you damn right. You sorry, bitch. No, I don't. I didn't say. I don't think so. I'm just saying I thought you were going to crash. While the sergeant explains to Jeremy why he is being pulled over, they notice talk other people mess. in the car who all appear to be under the age of 18. The sergeant offers mm -hmm. Jeremy the opportunity to explain who the children are, and his explanation yep. is strange. He claims that the kids are his friends. Okay, and then... You have a bunch of kids and then the car, how many kids? You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Who are these kids to you? Uh, this is my friend. That's your friend? Yeah. How old's your friend? 18. That girl's not 18? <laughs> like, yo, dude, stop playing. That girl's not 18? Stop playing with me. No, she's you thought not. I was just going to ask because things seem normal and I was just going to eat that answer up? What a fucking idiot. That girl's you not 18. You think she is? Trust me. She don't look 18. Like, yeah, as soon as you say that, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ma'am, how old Step are you? Step out of the car, jackass. Fuck, moron. I didn't ask you your name. I asked you how old, uh, how old you were. Jeremy is slurred speech and is very clearly intoxicated. And to make matters worse, when he's asked to step out of the vehicle, he's caught with his zipper down. Jeremy, this is bad to turn the car over. Talk to me. Alright. Caribbean sunset? Y'all let me down, y'all. Oh, why's your, she's why, why's your zipper, your buttons down in your crotch? <laughs> Well, I Maybe probably just be shaking up. Forgot. The read. officer asks Jeremy if he has had anything to drink, and initially he tells the officer that he hasn't been drinking, but would soon admit to them that he had a few drinks several hours before being pulled over. When did you last what a drink? Fucking idiot. Like, probably. Fucking uh, with kids and lying. It's been a, it's the been worst a thing on earth. Like an hour? I would say it's more than an. Yeah, like more maybe than, two. Yeah. Roughly. Yeah. Like two like, hours. Like, that's fair. Cause you know what, two like hours what? is totally is, is totally different than no, I haven't been drinking. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I mean, that's uh, okay. That's okay. yeah, do you like? like uh, I mean, I know what I smell. I know what I hear. I know what I see. Do you think you're safe to drive? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Absolutely. Like you don't sound the sure about again, shit. Asked Jeremy about the kids inside the vehicle. Lying. It's an absurd response. Who are they? They're just my friends. I don't, I don't Why do you keep saying that? I'm gonna knock you know, your bitch ass out the next time you tell me that shit. People who, who are young? Say yes, pussy. Not, not, how, uh, how old are you? I'm 41. 41? Okay. Hang tight right there, okay? The surgeon then approaches the kids Holy in cow. the vehicle and begins questioning them. How old are you? Like, how the I fuck, how the fuck I does that sound? I don't, I don't give a fuck if the nigga wasn't lying. How the fuck do you look being fucking 40? Chilling with... 
There's multiple children, by the way. An 18-year-old. Already red flag. Already red flagging. Not red flagging, but like, already red flag. And then there's other children. In the car. Uh, what what age age range can I assume that you you chill with? Like whether they're younger or older than that motherfucker, you, like why you're forty, nigga? Fucking weird ass clown. This shit about to piss me off all over again, bro. I should have skipped this shit. We already seen this shit. They already pissed me off. Remers. The game where you lie. I know that. I, I know that you're not eighteen. Okay. Yep, so don't fucking lie to me, so kids. So if you want to have attitude, you in the front, okay? We go about it another way. Simple as that. So if, so if I say mad at me, because you, you about to get we'll dined on by a fucking 40-year-old. Okay, how old are you? Fuck wrong with you. 14, thank you. Simple, simple question. 14. Four, really 14? Yes, sir. Okay. 14. 14. Okay. 14, 14, 13, 14, 13 14, 14, like... Okay. What the 14? fuck, man? Okay. Who's oh my anybody? gosh, yeah. And then she knows his kid. Okay. So, that there's your homie? Or, okay, so, you, got, you, you guys all need to call your parents. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, and have your parents meet, meet us here. Meanwhile, the second officer conducts a few field sobriety tests on Jeremy, which he fails and is subsequently arrested. He was charged with driving Never while is. under the influence and six counts of child abuse. However, that wasn't the worst of it, as something else later came to light that would shock the whole community. Charges are piling up against an Albuquerque man who at first was accused of driving drunk with kids in the car. Now he's charged with raping one of those children. Big Jeremy surprise. Like, oh, my gosh, into APD headquarters this afternoon. The oh, my gosh. The 41-year-old was first arrested early this morning after July, or the morning, rather, after July 4th. Now I'm going to get mad. When we police hear this say in the last he was video. pulled over drunk with six minors in the car. Last time we seen And they shit. say it turned out he had given them alcohol, too. Of course he did. That's when police heard from a family member of one of the kids about an ongoing sexual relationship 12. between Guthrie and the 14-year-old girl. Oh family my. told police it had been going on for months. Oh my and the girl gosh, even oh my had gosh, a miscarriage oh when she was just 12 years oh old. My gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Officers don't try to just, don't, don't just brush that shit off like fuck it. Yeah, they were damn vile. Can we sit here and talk about it? Catching killers? Fuck, I gotta pause this shit to talk about it? I mean, ain't shit, that ain't much to talk about. I was already pissed the last time we seen this shit. And it was, I didn't even hear that last part. That that wasn't included in that one. So that I know I'm hearing that shit right now. This nigga is three decades older than that damn girl. Three times that girl's age. Impregnated her. Gosh, I can't do this shit again, bro. No, I'm, I'm not trying to dwell on this this one part. It, it's it's going to piss me off, so. Yeah, I think it's safe. Uh, and best for all of us. If I, uh, go ahead and keep it. Get off my screen, clown. Bald bitchin' ass nigga. Man, come on, bro. These crimes were vile. But what happens when officers encounter a nationally wanted murder mm. suspect? Mm. Mm. I don't know what's in uh, there. I just uh -oh. got to make sure there's no one else or anything else in there. So I'm going to just detain you for a little bit until I figure out what's in your car. What? On September 23rd, 2021, patrol officer <laughs> Selena. <laughs> what? Bitch, you heard me. Hernandez spotted a young woman stranded on the side of the road. Once the woman was spotted, Hernandez pulled her cruiser over to see if the woman needed any help. Well, she killed her BF or something? Yeah, I've seen I see the that. Uh, got two flat man. tires. Yes, your family's coming? Yeah. From where? What? Where is your family what? coming from? Where from? I'm from. Where is your family coming from? Uh, this is in the New Mexico, Mexico. Come over here. I can't hear you. The woman, who later identifies herself as Wine, tells Officer Hernandez that she doesn't need her help because a friend of hers is on their way. Because of this, Officer Hernandez decides not to intrude on the situation any further and lets her be. So you don't need my help? I don't 
only. Okay, good luck. Yes, it may be uh, 20 minutes. Okay, good luck. Officer Hernandez leaves the scene because up until wow. this point, the officer likely doesn't suspect much from Juan. However, as soon as Officer Hernandez drives away, a shocking call comes in. State police, this better help you. Hi, how you doing? Uh, this is Mexico, uh, New Mexico State Police. Yes, sir. Hey, how are you, ma'am? I'm with the NYPD. I was wondering if uh, you guys could help us out with something. So we have a phone uh, phone number pinging at that location, oh. and we actually and we have uh, confidential. Uh, we have somebody telling us that she is at that location with tires blown out. She is a suspect at this time, um, but she is trying to flee to Mexico. So we're trying to see if, if we can get a trooper. Oh, out there. you caught a so homie in the city? In the Honda CRV, but we're not sure and you almost got away with it if it wasn't for this meddling. You have, have call. On her for a burglary which occurred in Queens County. Radio. So don't have an arrest in my shit? Right now, but we will have Queens! The detective explains that a suspect matching the description of Juan is one of the oh. However, the investigators would soon discover that what this woman had done was way worse than a simple robbery. After speaking with the NYPD, Officer oh. Hernandez goes back to the scene to see if Juan is still there. You're still here! You're still here! Oh my gosh, huh? <laughs> oh, you're back. No. Oh. Yeah, you still you still here? What happened? He don't come in. Oh, he's still not here? Yeah, one hour. One hour? You just 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. Okay, you want me to see if I can help you? Alright, I'm gonna help you, ass. Okay, is he coming from Albuquerque? See, maybe I ha I have a tire, I can help you with it. You can help me? Yeah. Let's see if Look how giddy and eager Are you and coming? You can help me? No. I mean, yeah, I yeah. I can Ooh, help you. You did a good job. What happened? St stand over here out of the street, okay? I don't know. Yeah? Five, 580, Sinka. Let me see if I can take you there. You that oh, no. Let me see. Let's go over here and then let me go see if I could get a, a tire and they could come fix it for you and you could just go. Let's go over here. In w ploy. Where are you coming from? Let's walk this way. Where are you coming from? I see my bed. Oh no, I'm gonna go see if they can get a a, a tire for you. No, I take my bed. No, you don't need your bed. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie, officer, you gotta you gotta play it. You gotta play it more smooth. That that was kind of sus. Oh, that was kind of sus. Like you know, like dude. Let's on. walk this way. Where are you coming from? My bed? Oh no, I'm gonna go see if they can get a uh, a tire for you. Like, even if you misheard me, like I don't know, some some something about that uh red flag if I'm her. I don't know. No, I'll take my bag. No, you don't need your And then you're talking about I don't need my bag. Fuck you mean I don't need my bag. I mean I guess. Since we'll be right back. You're letting her hear that? How long have you been staying here for an hour? Just hey, 20 minutes. 20, you've been here for 20 minutes? 15 minutes. No, you've been here for about a good hour. No. No, right here you've been here for a good hour. I've been here just 20 minutes, yeah? Yeah, about, yeah. Let me see if I could get a tire and they'll come fix it for you. And then you can head on your way. Officer Hernandez is desperately trying to keep Juan from getting back inside the vehicle mm -hmm. and for all the right reasons. Allowing Juan to re-enter the vehicle at all, much less retrieve something from inside, could make matters worse. Yeah, I take the clothes. Huh? I go to the car and take the clothes. Oh, you need clothes from there? Oh, okay, hold on. What, do you, what did you need from there? What did you need from there? What do you need, what, what do you need from there? Calls. Oh! It's a call. Okay. I'm like... Okay, see, I'm, I'm, I'm like... I'm like, the fucking cop is like, blowing it. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, bitch, can you hear? But I guess, you know what I'm saying? You really... I don't know if you're just not, like, understanding because of the accent or just not able to hear. I'm like, yo, damn. Fuck, you folding right. right now, miss, miss officer. Well, just hold on, okay? Right, nah, right, right here, right, right here, right here. I don't know what's in your car. 
Hold on. You just need a sweater? Yeah. Okay, is it in the front or the back? Yeah. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah? No, I'm getting it for you, ma'am. Back. Open. Okay, well, I don't, I don't know what's in there. I just got to make sure there's no one else or anything else in there. You can open it. Okay. Just for right now, let me see if um, your hands... Hell no, I'm, I'm Let me see your hand. What? So I'm going to just detain you for a little bit until I figure out what's in your car. What? Let me mm. see what's in your car and then I'll get you your jacket. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the hell? Why? Officer Hernandez attempts to put Wong in handcuffs by telling You're her that she's just trying key. to detain her until she can safely retrieve her sweater. But Wong doesn't seem to buy this because she quickly becomes combative. Let's detain you for I can see. Get your sweater. Yeah, but... So what, what, what are you telling me? What? What are you telling oh me? Oh my gosh. Because I'm going to get your sweater. <laughs> Ow. You're not going to get back. You can see it. Okay. You can see it. I hold on. Okay. You, you can see it. Turn around. Okay. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, hold on. Tired of Stop right there. Uh-huh. Help me. Get on your belly. Help me. Help me. Help me. Put your arm behind your back. Put it behind your back. Stop. Oh, Stop. What happened? Put your hands behind your back. Thank uh, you. Uh, uh, Stop moving. Stop moving. Mm-mm-mm. He's helping oh my you, but you kept moving. Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? Stop. That's a random. I'm fucking Get up. weak. Get up. I thought she got back Come up. On, roll on her knees. There you go. Stay right there. What the fuck? Stop moving. Why were you trying to get in the car? Now, what if this was just what? If, what if this was a, a trafficker in disguise? And they were just trying to kidnap this woman. You assisted that shit because your nosy ass want to stop on the random, random ass side of the road. And, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you did your thing in this case. But I'm just like, bro. Man, nosy motherfuckers is, is, is crazy, bro. Shit. Hey, bro. I told you not to get in the car. Come on. He's good. He's good. He's good. Eventually, with the help of a good Samaritan, Officer Hernandez manages to put Wang in handcuffs and detain her. However, this is when the true depth of Wang's oh, crimes is revealed. Shit. As it turned out, the suspect's name isn't Wang, and the car she was driving isn't hers Big either. Surprise. In reality, the woman is 31-year-old Haiyan Deng, a New Yorker who reportedly <gasps> worked at a nightclub in Queens. It was here that she met and began a relationship yeah, yeah. with Justin Lee, 26-year-old who was married to another woman. On September 19, 2021, what? Justin racial? was found dead in Haiyan's room by the NYPD. The cause of death was a single gunshot shot wound to the head. After killing oh. Justin, Hayen allegedly stole his vehicle and was seen driving around before abandoning it in a parking lot and somehow acquired the vehicle she was in right now. Hayen Dang was extradited to somehow. New York where she was indicted by a Queen's grand jury on murder, burglary, and gun charges. Oh. Hayen almost got away with murder, but what happens almost. when a murderer gets caught red-handed? What? Blood all over the car. What looks like blood in there? And... It's not blood, it's deer meat. I had a big bag of, and there's a farm around here that does this deer one too. meat hamburger. On May 20th, 2022, Police pulled over a car Damn. that was driving without a tire and had its back windows smashed open. After a few minutes, two officers approached the vehicle and met 29-year-old Julissa Thaler. And after investigating further, officers found shotgun shells along with blood on the vehicle and on Julissa. There is no tire there. All right. There's what? Blood all over the car. Wait, oh, this is the one with the kid, right? Shield, and I'm missing a tire because some kids were shooting at my car. I had some. What looks like blood in there? And... It's not blood. It's deer meat. I had a big bag, of, and there's a farm around here that does deer meat and hamburgers. So. Shotgun shells all over the side. Yeah. Oddly, Julissa seems to be calm about the whole yeah, situation right. and claims that the damage is the result of kids shooting at her car, and the blood is from deer meat. Despite the incredibly suspicious circumstances, the officers mm. released Julissa and escorted her back to her apartment. Back at the scene, the officers conducted a deeper search of the vehicle and discovered even more shocking evidence holy sh we got a body oh, yeah. all right let's cover <laughs> it that nigga was shook. the victim is none other than julissa's six-year-old son eli who according really? to police reports oh, was shot nine smaller. times with a shotgun once the body was discovered the nine times did we hear that last time his apartment and swiftly placed her under arrest That's for murdering crazy. her son would like to choose to speak now is the time to do it yes i would like to say something go ahead um i'm innocent Fuck you all. You're garbage. Miss Valerie, 
you know, don't know that that's appropriate here. Um, Sorry, I told you what somebody else <laughs> I will judge you guilty of first degree murder. The old attorney uh, gave up at that second. I will not um, impose any sentence. I can't hear you over your stomach. Probably. Five lines. Oh, really? You are being sentenced to life you in prison play. without the possibility of parole. This yeah, dumb bitch. Julissa was found guilty of first degree murder and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Julissa made no attempts to escape the law. But what happens when law enforcement encounters someone who does? On August 9th, 2023, this Lyft driver was pulled over after almost hitting a vehicle by stopping in the middle of the crosswalk. Hey, I'm Deputy Green of the Sheriff's Office. Hey, reason I'm stopping you, okay, first off, all right, when you were stopped over there at the red light after coming over the Bridge of Lions, okay, you were stopped way past the stop bar and your car was completely in the crosswalk. Okay. Okay. You can't be parking in the middle of the crosswalk because if people are trying to cross, obviously they can't walk through your car, right? You drifted Touch over it. and almost smashed into that parked car. I did not almost smash into the parked car. I'm a lift. I'm trying to get to my customer. That's a Y, not okay, a I. Do you remember? But you remember ah. almost hitting it? No, I didn't almost hit it. Well, you just told me that you did. Did your registration? Oh, sure. I sure did. Can you get <laughs> Mm -hmm. What's that? I said, can you bear with me? I didn't even say anything. It's Ooh, the shit. light. It's just my light. I know, but it's a little invasive. It's it's not invasive. The traffic stop Come seems on, perfectly gang. normal up until this point. The deputy explains why the woman got pulled over, although a bit agitated, is seemingly cooperative. As the officer asks the woman for her license, however, Same she does way. something that completely changes the trajectory of the stop. Oh, sir! Oh, she fucking... Like, you know what she, so like... Goes, she's taking off, she's heading towards... Oh, Hell no, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Speed chase is... I'm on Cathedral, I just lost her. Very it's dangerous. Like... Lost her? 1023, she's single forward. She's running. What the fuck is going on? Get on the ground, you're gonna get tased! You're gonna get tased! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Get on your stomach! Get on he your tried stomach, to dip yeah. off on feet. Get on your stomach! And you gonna get down and beg for? What, 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 You're gonna get tased if you move. The woman reaches speeds of up to 70 in a 20 miles per hour zone and nearly hits two pedestrians by to jump out of the way to avoid being run over. The chase lasts only a minute or two before the woman crashes into a wooden power up. pole. As the deputy Crashing attempts to put her under damages, arrest, she starts you got pleading with them and keeps saying she's arrest. never been in any legal trouble in the past. A bunch of dumb shit. Now look at you fucked. <laughs> Cause you wanted to live like the movies. Put your arms behind your back. Oh, you're fucked, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. All it takes is one time. Yep, first fuck up. Yeah, a terrible decision, ma'am. If a suspect can stay cooperative with the deputy, she could have gotten away with a much lesser charge. But instead, much she decided lesser. to flee and made things much worse for herself. For nothing. Sorry. Yo, car fucked. Look, your car's on fire. Damages fucking. Done anything in my life. Yeah, we well, made a bad yeah. choice. You, you made a, a grave choice. What happened? Please tell me what happened. What's happening? Look what you just did. I... Look what you just did. Okay, Look at so all one this. One bad mistake makes up for. A... Do you got anything illegal on you? you no, know, of course not. Hey, uh, what were what you, you about to say? Take a seat. The driver was charged with two counts of DUI, resisting and fleeing at high speeds. She was taken back Dumb to the station drunk, booked bitches. and released on a $13,000 bond. If you yeah. thought you were crazy, oh, you need to check out what yeah. happens when cops encounter nationally wanted killers. 13 mi- uh, I was about to say 13 mil. 13 bands! Oh yeah, wrap it up, Ba. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. That'll absolutely damn do it. Hey, man. <laughs> Uh, you motherfuckers, man. Hey, bro. RP everybody, you know what I'm saying? All, all the, all the, you know what I'm saying, deceased mentioned in the video. Uh, and yeah, man. Uh, yeah, do the right thing. Don't end up like any of these damn morons, all right? Um, but yeah, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Links in the description getting soon. Y'all stay safe. Stay out of trouble, you know what I'm saying? Y'all take it easy, man. Good book, 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 book. Good book.